children to die for this? The former Prime Minister Netanyahu, before the war in Iraq, was patrolling the halls of Congress, lobbying American senators to send our children to die, really, for Israel. Since Israel's existence, American taxpayer dollars have contributed over a hundred billion dollars to maintain that state. And the neoconservative idea was to bring President Bush totally in line with the ideas, the thinking, the policies of the Likud party in Israel. And now they are saying that President George W. Bush is the greatest friend that Israel has had of any president in this country. Well, if, um, if George W. Bush is their greatest friend, then how can he be an honest broker in a search for peace? Now, the thinking of these neoconservatives is written of in Scripture. In the book of Revelations 2 and 9, it reads, I know the blasphemy of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. What is the blasphemy? A Jew is a noble name. A Jew means one who is in a covenant relationship with God in obedience to the divine laws, statutes, and commandments of God. But these people claim to be Jews, but they're not in obedience to God's law. They have given a mission of evil a divine look on it. And George W. Bush has swallowed that bait, hook, line, and sinker. The synagogue of Satan is a gathering of persons of like mind and spirit who are in opposition to the will of God. So Paul said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and the rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. Well, in the peace process, no American president has been able to deliver. And President Bush is the worst in that line to deliver because he is so in line with the thinking of those in opposition to peace. In closing, let me say that <coughs> I warned the president that there were two fronts in this war, one right here in the United States of America. In order for them to complete their objective, there must not be what happened in the 60s, a rise of the people in the streets of America. So they must silence voices of dissent, silence activists, bring organizations that would oppose this into court, call them enemy combatants, remove from them due process. Thus, the Patriot Act was rushed through Congress to give power to this country to take away the rights of the American people. As black people, we already understand. 
as black people.